Lidley Nation, on today's episode, I'm sharing three ingredients that you never want to see listed on your food's nutrition label. Welcome to Lidley TV. I'm your host, Brad Guthrow from LidleyTV.com. So let's talk food. More importantly, let's talk about the three terrible ingredients that should not be entering your temple your body. Even if you're having your well-earned cheat meal, I do caution you from staying away from these three ingredients that when consumed in excess can increase inflammation and aging, increase your bad LDL cholesterol, and decrease your good HDL cholesterol, thus increasing your risk of heart disease and increasing your risk of cancer and risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Guys, ultimately these three ingredients are deadly to your body's cells. And here's even what's scarier. I heard a stat that up to 40% of foods in some grocery stores contain one of these three dangerous ingredients, especially refined and processed foods. So here it is. I'm referring to the chemically altered toxic and evil man-made fats called trans fat. Now you may be asking, what are trans fats? All right, to clarify, there are two types of trans fats. One is naturally found in animal products, but guys, we're not concerned with those at all because they're natural. It's the artificial trans fats that are created in a food lab by adding hydrogen to liquid vegetable oil. This process helps increase the shelf life of the food. It adds texture and it enhances the flavor of the food. But hold up! You typically will not see the word trans fats in the ingredients list. So to find out if the foods you're eating, if they actually contain trans fats, you need to look for these three ingredients in the ingredients list. I'm talking about shortening, partially hydrogenated vegetable oil, and hydrogenated vegetable oil. So the higher in the ingredients list that these are, the worst the food is. So here are some typical foods that are high in trans fats. And sorry guys, these are foods that a lot of you may think are delicious. Okay, we're talking baked goods like bread, cookies, pie, some cereals, chips, Fried fast food, including French fries, and most things fried in batter like chicken fingers and fish sticks, and even your frozen dinners that you could be taking to the office for lunch. And essentially guys, any food that's made with margarine. But beware guys, even if the label on the box claims to be trans fat free, it doesn't guarantee that the food contains no trans fats. Here's the thing, if the food contains less than 0.5 grams of trans fats per serving, food marketers can still claim that it's trans fat free. So just think about it for a second. If a food contains 0.4 grams of trans fats per serving, it's still classified as a trans fat free food. So let's just say you're crushing a box of trans fat free cookies made with shortening and you're eating five times the indicated serving size, which honestly, it's not out of reason, you could actually be jamming your heart with two grams of trans fats. Not good. So the American Heart Association recommends you limit trans fats to less than two grams per day. Guys, I say don't piss off your heart. Just avoid them. So there you have it, Lively Nation. This doesn't mean you can never eat tasty baked goods like cookies or pie or any of the good stuff again. It just means that you need to make healthier decisions and commit to eating cookies that are made with like higher quality ingredients. Honestly, I eat cookies every week, but the difference is I make them on my own or Jessica makes them or my mother-in-law makes them. And in my Eat Clean, Live Lean cookbook, there are over 200 quick, healthy, easy, and affordable recipes, including many baked goods that are freaking delicious. Guys, let's wrap this up. It's time to take control back of the ingredients that you're fueling your body with. Start looking at the ingredients list before you put it in your body. And thanks for watching, guys, and keep living lean.